guys, it's William here, back for another great video, you know it. Um, so we're just loading up for my race. Um, so this is the day before the race. So when you guys hear me building, and I'm not sure when it's gonna be uploaded, but my Nitro Buggy, my MB48 2.0, um, I'm not bringing it to this weekend, sadly. Um, just couldn't get it ready in time. I couldn't, I didn't feel like rushing it. I don't want to, I don't want to rush my linkages and rush my tune. And I just don't think I have the time and my first time on this track this year. So I just want to not run Nitro yet. So I'll run it next time though. If you guys point me there, I will be running Nitro next time. So anyways, so we are going over with my classes. I have five classes coming with me, but I'm only going to race three, maybe four. So my classes coming over are my E-Truggy, which is a Techno ET410, or sorry, ET48 2.0 running a Hobbywing XR8 Pro ESC with a Hobbywing 2250 kV motor. Follow up for that is my 8 scale e-buggy running a Hobbywing XR8 SCT ESC with a 1900 kV motor. On top of that, to power up those systems will be Team Zombie 4S high volt lipos. So we're doing great there. All right. So there we, there we go. All right. Next, following up is my 10 scale four wheel drive buggy, which is an EV410.2, guys. It's now 0.2 finally. So it started off to being just a Gen 1, and I converted it over the summer, or I guess over the winter, into a 0.2 fully. Um, those enough to do is a chassis, but that's okay. We'll get that later. Um, but so it's a full 0.2 right now. And powering that up is a Hobbywing XR10 Pro G2 with a Team Zombie 5.5 turn motor. So we're doing, and powering that through would also be a Team Zombie LiPo, 5,600 milliamp high volt. So we're doing great there. Following up next is my stadium truck class. Now these two classes, I haven't decided which one I want to run yet. And so they're a one tenth two wheel drive stadium. It's a team associated T6.1 powered by an, X, an XR10 Pro G2. And the motor is a 10.5 turn Team Zombie also running by the same as all my 10 scale shorty packs, which are a 5,600 milliamp high volt team zombie battery. All right, followed up next is my 10 scale two wheel drive buggy. I love this class. Um, personally, this summer, I've been doing really good with it on Prince Edward Island and I've been competing well with it and I've been doing really, I think, I think I'm two races down, two wins with it now. So I've been doing good with it and I just got it and set it up. Uh, thank you to Trevor, who's helped me use his setup he used last year to kind of give me a good starting point and I've tuned it a little bit from there for my track here and it's been just great. So that is a B6.2D. Now, right now it's the 0.2D um who knows in the future it might be a 0.3d next year uh we're just gonna see what happens but right now it's a 0.2d so we're trying to see, i'm trying to see if i can get the 0.3 setups to work um because we run and it's running a four gear stand up because what we need for the tracks around here especially my home track because we're so low bite and then with that powering that is a 10.5 uh team zombie with an xr10 pro g2 esc and the battery is a Team Zombie 5,600 5, milliamp high volt. So that's kind of what we're doing right now, guys. I'll flip it around here, and you guys will see what we have with us. Um, we're going to see some people. My mom's coming with me today. She wants to go for a drive. It's the first time we're allowed off the island with what's going on in the world. So we haven't been able to go off since January. So it's now it's been six months. Um, this is about to be seven months. It's been six solid months, and then this is the seventh month. So we're allowed to officially go off island. So we run some, she's gonna go visit some friends and family maybe. So she has some her, her stuff in here too, not just mine. So we'll flip it around, and you guys will see some stuff. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Um, what to say to you guys, we're running a Black Fly RC, I think I've already covered, but hey, can't say more than once guys. So I wanna thank Stefan for hosting this great race this weekend. We're hoping we don't get rained out. Knock on wood, you guys know that, like, all right? So we're gonna see what happens, but the weather's looking good. It's gonna be a cloudy day like this, overcast, but it won't be raining uh, going to any of the weather network, so we're good that way. So yeah, we're gonna go up. And this is also the first time some guys, I think from Quebec, are also gonna be able to come down. So like last summer when I traveled, we didn't have any Quebec guys, and this summer we do. All right, hey guys. So this is what we look like right now. Looks pretty dope, right? So as we got everything's here, we're all set, we're all Gucci. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it personally for myself. Um, so I'll move the cat out of the way for you guys. So we're seeing some family and friends as I said last clip. There's all my cars. You got my eight scale e buggy, eight scale e truggy, ten scale four drive buggy, two wheel drive buggy, and two drive stadium. And then of course tire bags, audio bag, cooler, grocery stuff. You just never know when you need a bag. 
cables were all set. Hey guys, so we're, I just got to black fly. I've been here for a couple hours. Um, we're waiting for the track. If you're okay to go on the track because we had some rain here. Just been watching walking guys. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. I'll turn around and show you the track. Um, I'll do a pit walk tomorrow. Because today is Friday and then race is on Saturday. So I won't post tomorrow, but a couple of us are here tonight. So the far away guys. So I'll turn around and show you the track layout. Show you what it looks like, how it goes, and yeah. So it's all electric classes tomorrow the way we look at it. All right, here you guys go. So we're gonna start here, down the straight, around, hit the kicker. As of recording guys, I have not been on the track yet. So we just got the okay. So over there, you can see it. Hit the back, come back in the quads, come back around to the straightaway. Your pit lane with the end of the straight, you go know, like that. That's the track. And then I'm just in there right now but I will be over here tomorrow. All right, hey guys, we're gonna do a quick track walk here. So we're going off the straightaway. All right, it's doing pretty good, I would say. Come down the straightaway, I know pit over here. Hit the turn, hit the kicker, come back up. So, as you can see, we get a little rut, some ruts are forming after practice yesterday. We're doing pretty good, I would say so. Um, hit the turn, hairpin, and then come back. So, I don't want to walk too much in the track. It's still a little wet, but come here. We got a reverse, reverse bank. You can't really see it in the pictures, but it's a pretty high reverse bank. Come back. And then we come around. Quick little step ups. Reverse step ups, I call them. Over to there. Hit the doubles. And then you hit the quads. After the quads. You come over here. Hit this turn. And then bang, back into this turn, and you're on the straight. So, yeah, guys, that's kind of a quick little track view. Still pretty good. Hey guys, so we're in our tent now, as you can see. Uh, we're gonna pit walk here in a little bit, but uh, we're starting up strong. So my pit's in the cleanest spot right now, guys. But it's okay. I'm out practicing, so I think I've decided for sure. I'm running both my eight scale electrics. So e-buggy and e-truggy. I'm now deciding if I'm running 10 scale Florida buggy or not and stadium or not. I might run both, I might run one. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, so we're gonna turn you guys around and we're gonna do a little pit walk. So, tracks over here. We have a pit here. We got my pit, so I have sidewalls up and everything to keep the dust levels low in case it goes in. And then everything keeps it contained. Another pit, there's Trevor. You know, he's always there, always happy. I do like the shirt. You're not a contract customer. No, no, it's just so. Oh, there you go. Sponsored by the wife. Sponsored by your mum. Probably, honestly, though. Honestly, though. There's Patrick getting all ready. He's getting his charger all ready. We have more on the track up here. All right, come on in. We got Stefan wrenching. Hey, Martin. What are we seeing? What we got now? We got this. All the glasses getting ready. That's Trevor's pit. You guys just talked to Trevor. Some more pits. Max is over there wrenching. So it's kind of all set. And then we're all kind of parked right here. So that's kind of everything right now, guys. So we're doing, that's kind of a track. It's not that much. Not a lot of races here today, but hey, racing's racing. So we'll go back over and show you some, maybe some practice left. Someone did the practicing and we'll see what comes up. But yeah, so today's looking good. It's supposed to rain today. It's not nice sunny blue clouds. So let's see it over. Is that you crash already? Can you edit that, please? No, I don't, I don't edit. What's well, editing? I right, got so.
gotta find it of you guys. Oh, look, there it is. Boom. There you go. It needs a nice clean lapse. Uh oh, something broke. Anyways, guys, so that's the video. That's where we're at right now. We haven't started qualifying yet. We're going to be starting that in about once in an hour or so. But hopefully, you guys, I might, I'll pick you probably at lunchtime, end of the third, and definitely I'll try to get some main videos for you guys. All right, talk to you later. Hey, guys, so it's William back. So I'll, I actually got a real lot shocked today, guys. So we're doing mains now. So I'll give you a quick update into mains. Um, I'm TQ for stadium truck. Um, <laughs> I, I, we haven't got released the heat sheets yet, but I feel very confident in e buggy, e truggy. I'm in the A main. Um, I just came off, like, I think I was third place in e truggy, so I'm probably gonna be in the A main for that. Um, and those are my classes. I'm only running three classes today. My intense skill flow drive broke before I even hit the first race. Um, my drive cuff snapped in another part, and I didn't run my two drive buggy today at all. So I'm at three classes um, e truggy, e buggy, and stadium. Three. Three. Anyways, so that's what we're going up. I'm about to clean up some tires. So tire choice, my truggy is triple D's R2, and for my buggy, reflexes in blue. I haven't tried green yet, and I didn't test green today, so I'm just gonna stay with blue for the main, because I know what I'm expecting. But yeah, so that's an update. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start recording the mains for you guys, and then we'll be set. Hey guys, so yeah, you guys, I'm not, I'm not sure where it's gonna be editing right now where it's gonna be at, but you order just finished my review of how today went and what happened with the track and finished my mains, my last bit of my mains, or you're watching this and this is the end of the other video and the mains are a separate video. Having decided how I'm gonna do it, we'll have to wait and find out. Anyways, just wanna let you guys know, give you an update what happened. So I was, we only had three people qualify for the A main, like three, man, I'm really bad at this, guys. Three people qualified for the A in buggy and trugging for A scale. And the rest, the other nine of us had to go in the B main and three of us bumped up. So in, I was in both the B mains in top four, both of them. I was second, first and truggy, I think. First, yeah, first and truggy. And I was third or fourth in buggy for the B mains. And I uh, bumped up in both, uh, did good, uh, made a couple mistakes. You guys will see that, it wasn't the best. Truggy, on the other hand, I was very impressed, very happy. Um, out of the box, box stock setup. I haven't tuned it, touched it. Drove amazing. I had some fine details I got to change, like maybe shock locations, and but I I have more than enough steering. Like you don't need more steering than the one that comes out of the kit. My e buggy though, I still need more steering out of it. I don't got it enough, so I'm gonna have to go to get more turning out of that steering of that which I was fiddling with all day trying to get the steering for it. And then we ran, it's called two wheel drive truck. We ran stadium and short course together because it wasn't enough for both. Uh, actually there was four and four or four and five. So we just put them together just throughout the day, but at the end of the day, like our photo pictures, it was split stadium and short course, even though we ran at the same time. Um, I TQ'd our short, our TQ'd stadium truck and one stadium truck. Uh, I also won the A main with the short course trucks in it, so hey, I was pretty happy with that. But yeah, um, I with the, with that said, the guy who should have won it got knocked out by a lower seed, a lower place driver. It was all right. It ha stuff happens. Um, I did talk to him after. I was like, man, I, realistically, you won the race, even though you're a short course on stadium, you still won it. You raced good, good job. I couldn't. I I crashed once and couldn't catch back up. But congratulations. You know I won the I won the overall race because of an accident, but he should have got it. But anyways, he did a good job and yeah, that's gonna be updated. So I TQ'd that place first. I got second in both my B mains bumping up. I finished fifth and truggy out of a class of eight. Yeah, seven or eight. And then eight scale e buggy, I finished I think six or seven um i threw on uh reflexes green amazing worked great i did not feel it worked good but i went back into the race results checked over and best thing i ever did i was running blues all day so i knew the tire tread pattern was right but i just need to make sure the compound 
Uh, definitely green, personally. That's why I like reflex green on my eight scales. Green sprinters on my 10 scale two wheel drives in the rear, and it was that coming, looking at the track last night, racing the track last night, we were all running goosebumps, blockades, like the bar, like the thicker tire stuff to go through like a lot of muck and like high dust stuff. And because everything was caking up so quick. And then today, boom, sun came out, dried that track right up, and boom, I used my sprinters, and I was just flying. So, again, sprinters are where it's at for 10th scale, I find still. Um, give you a recap, rest of what's going on today. My 10th scale 2 drive buggy, didn't run that, I decided not to run it. 10th scale 4 drive buggy, I registered it, went to go for practice, and my diff cup broke, my outdrive. Uh, sadly, I don't have a spare with me. I have it at my, my house, but I just didn't bring it because I never break those. I'm going to start bringing them. So I threw that was out the window. Then I had, so that dropped me down to two, three classes, uh, e-buggy, e-chugging, and then stadium trucking. You guys just heard those. So it looks great. I had some issues with my stadium truck. I had some electronic issues. Fixed that up nice and easy. It was quick and easy to fix that up. And got 20 minutes, it was fixed. Once we figured out what was wrong. But yeah, so everything's great. Like, thank my sponsors. We got Techno RC, Team Zombie for power and everything. Then we got Hobby Wing as my electronic sponsor, just to help me keep everything nice and good. And then Acadia Designs. They're not an official sponsor yet, but they're, I'm gonna call them a sponsor, guys. They do great things for me. Uh, to print my shirts, to my bodies. Great, if you ever need body painting, hit up Acadia Designs. Great spot, he's in Northern New Brunswick. So it's right in Canada, ship it to your shipment to there and you're set. But anyways guys, we'll talk to you later and I'll probably pick you guys up I think next weekend, which is July 10th. Um, for me it's next weekend, for you guys it could be tomorrow, I don't know. When you guys watch the video, when it's getting uploaded yet. But anyways, it should be up and that is called the Red Clay Rumble. That is at my home track. Uh, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, it's looking nice, we're having a big Maritime Series race and then the following weekend after that, we're up back up to Camelton, to Trevor's spot, Trevor's track, and then the week after that, we're in a big surprise. You guys have to wait and find out what that is. Let's just say this, it's a big race. It might be overnight. It might be the first overnight race that I've been to, and possibly, like, we're racing multiple nights in a row. And it might also possibly be in New Brunswick. You have to wait and see. But it's going to be great. You're going to love it. I'm going to have lots of film, lots of footage. I'll be uploading track walks. I'll be doing live footages, live feeds, like the whole nine yards, guys. The whole nine yards. All right. With that, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, make sure post notifications are on. Because you got to stay up to date whenever we upload a video. I was on the road yesterday, and guess what? I uploaded a video. Y'all didn't know about that because you didn't have post notifications on. So make sure you put those on so you can get it. Hit the subscribe button because I can tell if you're subscribed or not. All right. And talk to you later. Peace.